a lot of my friends just wanted to say hello because frankly I missed you a lot, a lot. And I last couple probably two or three days has been uh, frankly uh, I've been in a lot of excruciating pain and I don't uh, I don't really take these little narcotic painkillers or whatever they're prescribing so I've just been really rolling through this and when I fell uh, as I told the story the other day and I fell in my yard and I had to crawl into my house when I fell because my leg buckled under me my my injured knee I felt really bad on like my elbow and my shoulder and all this and and I have basically an enormous amount of pain that has spider webbed from my my deltoid originally in the front to down in my chest down my arm even into my bicep and then in my rear delta like this whole area and I'm left-handed and I have to like I'm holding the phone right now and I have to switch to my right hand because it's so heavy and my what does an iPhone weigh so um I say that not to complain, but to inform you that <laughs> I know when you're in pain that you probably don't want to chat. You don't want to be creative. You're, hey, well, well, since you were laid up at home, why didn't you write a new massive uh, book or song or whatever you're going to do? Because you were sitting there kind of consumed in that pain state. And, and for me, this is like, may seem like a lot, but it's like nothing compared to someone who's dealing with uh, chemo treatments or some horrible accident, diseases, just like things going on that that I can't even imagine. So why it's destined for each of us to experience things, you know, maybe is in a way that so that we'll develop more empathy and kindness and understanding for other people and the pain that they're in. So I just want to let you know that I've been away because I just... I really haven't felt like talking to anyone. <sighs> and I'm just talking to you now to tell you, even in, in this conversation, I, I don't really feel like talking. I just want to get better and I just want you to get better. I want, I want you not to be in pain. I've wanted that this whole time. I know you've been posting about things. You know who you are. You've been posting about your situation. And your physical pain has led to your mental pain, has led to your emotional feeling pain, your spiritual pain. And now it all is a self-perpetuating machine going down the wrong road. And it's so quick that we hear about one of our friends or loved ones that is here and then they're either in really bad shape, they're in a hospital or somewhere, or they're just here one second and they're just gone the next. And it's really like that. Um, so I just really want you to just know, not forget about me, just as a, as a reminder from me to you that there's someone somewhere hurting worse than you, hurting worse than me, and just give them some part of your energy that says, I, I want better for you. And better will come to you for that. <sighs> I'm not going to get too hung up right now. And what are the reasons behind all this? Because I've got a long road. Oh, and I, I completely forgot to tell you. It's not just a matter of this pain or that. But if you're still in four minutes later in this video, um, I found out on... Um, Monday or Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, one or the other, when I finally got my MRI reading back that my uh, my tendon from my kneecap at the base of my patella at the bottom of it disconnected by about two centimeters, it's called two centimeters distal, D-I-S-T-A-L, on the report, and it's like disconnected. So me healing, whether it's stem cells, all these great vitamins, peptides, that's not going to fill the void <laughs> where it was connected. So I'm going to see a surgeon um, on Tuesday and I'm sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday the 6th and first thing in the morning. And I hope that it all is a, like a fit and that I can go 
see him and get the actual, maybe like an arthroscopic surgery where they can kind of weave and tie that together. The biggest thing right now is that this thing is like shooting out fire in my shoulder. And this is never, 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 I'm talking, uh, never hurt like this. I, I've been working out since I was 19. And that was what, two years ago? Cause I'm 21 right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, I've been doing this for like decades and this is a whole new realm. And I'll say this in conclusion, because I was telling a friend earlier, maybe you can't really help people if you don't understand. And if you're like, Hey, I'm 50 some years old and I'm working out and like, yeah, well, that's all well and good for you. Maybe you don't know because you, you've never had an injury. You've never had a disease. You never had these things going on and whatever they are, I'm sure whatever I've been experiencing doesn't even compare to what you and people that you know and love have experienced. So it at least puts me in a mindset where I'm like, wow, I really have been even more fortunate and I'm even more grateful for all the, the health, all the injury free, you know, pain free or minimum pain situations over the years. And I've invested a lot into it. Don't get me wrong. It's not that it's happened out of nowhere or just from genetics or whatever, but however you got to where you are. And if you're in pain right now, the only thing that you're thinking about is how do I get out of pain? That's it. Because you can't go onto the other stuff and, and tune this out. It won't let you tune it out. So I wanted to post Here's a post. Let me know what kind of pain you've been in. Let me know what kind of pain you've experienced. And let me know what you would say to someone, not me, not me, that's in that pain and feels different now. I feel like here was this before, here's this after. Thankfully, I have a spiritual side that has helped me a lot. And even physically, by working out so hard, have helped to make it easier. But nothing could prepare a person for the fact that sometimes just life changes on a dime. And I hope the next time I hear from you or see you that you give me a smile, you tell me you've moved through this pain, and that you're feeling better right now. And just know that uh, you matter. Thanks for uh, jumping in here for a minute. Appreciate you.